home of the Super Bowl right there, Inglewood. Going right above us over here, dang. Then just a few blocks away, we do have the Mecca of sneaker reselling the last couple days. This has been crazy. Uh, there's already a huge, huge, huge line. I'm only here to show y'all, man. I, I'm not even trying to get anything. Let's go check it out. What's going on, YouTube? It's your boy, Cool with Cool Kicks. We are back for another video, and I am out in Inglewood. Um, yeah, people have been, like, killing this place since Wednesday. Like, people have been camping out all night. I'm sure people were camping out all night to not last night. And, yeah, man, uh, they've had some crazy stuff here. Super Bowl just right around the corner. And that's only a couple days away. So, this shoe palace has had all kinds of crazy releases. They also changed this uh, shoe palace into, like, a Jetman LA kind of location where they're only going to sell Nikes and Jordans. So, um, yeah, let's go look around. I don't know, like. I'm not really looking forward to it, but I have to show this to you guys because it's been nuts. Obviously, I am way late, but I also don't need Jordans like that. Like, you know what I'm saying? Like, I, I'm not a reseller, so I don't really need all this stuff. But yeah, let's go see. Let's go look around. People have been camping here all night. I'm definitely not expecting anything just because I'm like super, super late. But yeah, let's check out the line. Like I said, this is the longest line I've ever seen in my life. Let's go. Let's go look around. I'm telling you, line is crazy. Line is crazy. This is the end right here. And yeah, that's, man, that's the longest line I've ever seen in my life. Wow. All right, so to be honest, I'm really not expecting to get anything. Um, I'm kind of just here so i can show y'all you know uh show y'all what's going on with this i don't know if it's a it's a grand opening event or if it's an event where they're changing the name i don't know but they've been having crazy releases here everybody's been here people have been camping overnight so i kind of wanted to to cover this all right see what happens see what happens so i got to the location at around 10 45 i believe the the store opens at 11 I waited until about 11.45, I waited an hour, and that line had not moved at all. It did not move at all. So at this point, I, I kind of did call it quits. I was like, you know what, I'll come back later. My primary objective th this day was to pretty much just show you guys the inside and show you guys how they changed the, the store to a Jordan and Nike store. It is owned by Shoe Palace, but it's their equivalent of Jumpman LA. So uh, that was pretty much my objective. I wanted to show you guys. So I was like, hey, you know what? I've been here for an hour. I can't waste all day there because I, I wanted to hit up other shops. So I bounced. I bounced. I was like, hey, you know what? I'll come back later and, and we'll see what happens. All right, so it's like six hours later or something. What, what is it, like four o'clock in the afternoon and there's still a freaking line? Are you serious? Oh my God, are people just going and then going back in line and go like what the hell what's going on all right let's go see if i'm gonna stand in line damn no oh, excuse me excuse me all right so there's still a line um i don't know we'll see i'm gonna wait in line we'll see what happens all the workers had to wear jordans got the unions on right there my man got the travis scott's on got the mids balvin's right there some more Jordans back there. It's, it's interesting because, yeah, apparently they all had to wear Jordans because they're changing the name. They, you know, that's a big deal, apparently. So they got an ID station here. They're actually checking people's IDs and actually putting it in the spreadsheet and stuff. I like, I like this. I like this. They're actually making sure people only come here once a day because the rule is one purchase a day. I like these guys, man. I like the way they're doing it. Good for you guys, man. There, my turn is coming up. I don't know what to expect there. I think they have like personal shoppers and stuff. So I don't really know. Do right or left? Uh, left? All right, cool. All right, cool. Let's, let's see what happens. Oh, uh, they have shirt customizations. Okay. No, I'm good though. I'm good though. Okay. No, I'm good. That's dope though. Okay. I'll take a look at it. What was your name? All right, so. All right, so I guess personal shoppers going to take me around, show me around. Okay. No. No, but I, I know that they are changing this to the wood and then they have the Jordan. It's going to be like a Jetman and LA, uh, Jetman and Nike. Nike's brand, is all right. Okay. 
show you more details of everything. Oh, okay. Okay, that's actually pretty dope. Okay, so so they got the lows, the diamond lows. I forgot what those are called. They got the Moonlight Fives. Carmines, okay, okay. Do you have the 13s, the Racer Blue threes, and then the Cool Gray threes? The Inglewood that are also doing an event as well. Oh, okay. So the name of the each place is on the wall right there. Okay, that's dope. So they are featuring the community, all black owned businesses. So this is dope. This is dope. Oh, okay. Okay, that's fire. Free haircuts. Okay, that's fire. Oh, so this is the customization for the shirts and the hoodies? Okay. And I saw it because this is only available here as well, the, the wood stuff. So that's actually really dope. Yeah, that is dope. Okay. Okay. All right, so we are going to look at the sneakers they have. This is crazy. You can get one pair because uh, usually it's one men's and one GS, but there's no GS today. Got the 13, the racer blues. These are fire, dude. These ain't bad. Clean. I think I have, I'm pretty sure I have one of those. You got the cool grays. Man, the material on this, like, it was super inconsistent. Like, some, it's like, some you could see that tumbling, but some you can't. But it is super smooth. Yeah, those are nice. Do we got the moonlight, the moonlight fives. These are fire. Okay, okay. Some lows, and then these. One of my boys wants these, but one of my boys wants the patent. Another one of my boys wants the patent. I'm gonna. I think I'm gonna be able to find these later. But yeah, buck ten for these. These are nice. These are nice. Do we got the car mines right there, and then, then yeah, the Flint Seven. Dope, dope. They do have some things on display. I think these are some sixes, the infrared sixes that Jordan wore. And then they do have some of the custom cleats for some of the players. Joe Hayden, Cam, this is Cam Jordan right there, Bobby Wagner, Dak. Okay. Oh, okay, that's kind of cool. Uh-huh, that's slow motion video, okay, okay. Okay. Oh, okay, so you can make it rain and see it in slow motion. Okay, they got kids, Nikes over there, Nikes and Jordans. Oh, they do have grade school car mines and stuff like that. That's pretty dope. Oh, they got the patent. Can I get Can I get one of those? Oh, I can't get a, I can't get grade school and, oh, okay, okay. All right, I'll get one later. I'll come by later. So it's not grade school. I think on day one, they did grade school and they did one grade school, one men's, but now they're just doing men's. But, um, but yeah, they just have Nikes. They just have Jordans here. Place is crazy. Place is crazy. And I guess I make my purchase here. I guess that's it. All right, I did make a purchase. I did want to check the kids section real quick because they do have kids stuff. They do got these, the grade schools. Like I haven't seen these grade school anywhere. So they got these, go for 90. Got Carmine's in the grade school. Oh, that's a preschool, okay. Do got these, I don't see anything crazy. Have we seen these? Have I seen these in grade school? Oh, I think I have, oh, the color in the back tripped me out. This is 130. They do have a ton of stuff here. This place is dope, this place is dope. They did have like some football players and some athletes and stuff. They did an interview and they took videos and stuff like that. But um, I think I'm done, I think I'm done. Did grab. Our pair. Dude, I came late in the evening and they still had one. That's crazy. All right, I think we're done. Let's wrap it up. Let's wrap it up. Let's get out of here. Can you effing believe it? Got one for one of my boys. Man, and, and I came at 4.30 in the evening and they still had one. Can you freaking believe it? Crazy, crazy, crazy. Man. Hey, th thanks, Inglewood. Appreciate it. So this is the line. What, what time is it? Five o'clock right now? Five o'clock in the evening? Look at the line still. Can you freaking believe it? Oh my God, that's crazy. And still got one, still got one. What? All right, so that was just insane. Um, big Super Bowl celebration, apparently tons and tons of stuff. And all the shoe palaces, man, every shoe palace had, had stuff, man, it was crazy. Uh, to find a pair of patent bread Jordan ones, like, uh, like, and then I came in the evening, I came in the evening. In the beginning, they did have up to size 10, I think they had to seven to size 10. Uh, they've been very transparent. Like when we were waiting in line, they told us exactly what they had and stuff like that. When I waited in the morning, um, you know, in the in the evening, they were still very transparent. They were nice, and they told us, "Hey, this is, um, you know, we still got plenty. Don't worry about it." And and they were they were super cool. Um, this was a great experience. Um, I actually, I think one of the district managers was there. I was like, "Who's in charge here?" And and I actually talked to him. I said, "Hey, I I want to appreciate. I want to. I told them I I want to." 
let you guys know how much I appreciate this. This is freaking dope. Um, you know, like when we complain, whenever we talk to the higher ups, it's usually whenever we complain. So like when they do a great job, we need to let them know as well. And I did thank them and I'm like, dude, this was like the best first come first serve experience ever. The fact that they were checking IDs, the fact that they were making sure people are coming in and out and, and going like five times, like all of that stuff, like that, that was just dope. That meant the world to me. Like, like I told them, hey, this kind of, this, this kind of gives me hope for the sneaker culture because um, right now, you know, <laughs> it's it's pretty bad. Y'all know, y'all know that. But uh, but yeah, that was freaking dope. Um, I think they have more releases tomorrow. They also have stuff. Um, I think Foot Locker and a few other spots they have releases tomorrow. So uh, if you got time to be out there, might be worth doing some camping. I know not everybody likes that, but uh, that is what we have to do right now to get sneakers, just because it's it's kind of crazy. So um, yeah, it, like. I don't even know what to say. I'm still surprised as hell that I got these. It's just kind of crazy. But uh, but yeah, thanks so much to Shoe Palace. And, and I'm definitely going to have to stop by here. Uh, this is They're calling this one The Wood because it's in Inglewood. So uh, they're giving it a name. It, they're only going to have Jordans. They're only going to have Nike there. Super fire spot. Definitely going to have to visit this spot more. But yeah, thanks so much for watching. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. Uh, make sure you guys stop by here whenever you guys get a chance. If not tomorrow, maybe the day after. They're still going to have more Jordans than most other spots. They are limit everything to one per person. And I don't even have any complaints about that because that's, that's, that's how you make it fair. That's the only way you make it fair. So, uh, yeah, thanks so much for watching. Make sure you help a boy out. Make sure you press that like button. If you're new to the channel, go ahead and press that subscribe button. Click on that notification bell. Who, who else is bringing you all this type of content, really? Like, seriously? Like, like, I don't know how many other YouTubers were here, but... But yeah, I did wait in line for y'all. I freaking hate waiting in line. I hate it. But yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed. Thank you. See you guys next one. Peace. Yeah, planes? Damn you, fools!